post shows you how to enable drill down for Excel's charts. Excel's charts are a fantastic way to present information. They bring out relationships within the data. And when a chart element seems strange, a deeper dive into the raw data helps us understand why. This deeper dive is called drill down. Drill down from Excel's pivot tables is easy. Just double click on a value and the raw data displays. Try that on an Excel chart and the results are disappointing. Fortunately, you can have the pivot tables drill down capability in your Excel charts with just a little VBA code. Let's see how. First, we need some raw data. We're using a 1999 US zip code database for this demonstration. Next, we summarize the number of zip codes by state using a pivot table. Now let's create our chart over the pivot table. I'm using a columns stacked chart, but it doesn't matter which chart type you choose. The drill down routine will work with anything. Now let's add the code to mimic the pivot table drill down. Use Alt F11 to get to the VBA editor. We want to attach our code to the chart, so use Ctrl R to bring up the project explorer and double click our chart sheet to bring up the code window. We want the drill down to act just like double clicking on a pivot table. So we'll attach our code to the chart's double click event handler. This particular event has four parameters. Element ID tells us what was double clicked on the chart. We want our routine to only respond to double clicks on a chart series, not the legend or an axis. If element ID equals three, then a chart series was what was double clicked. When element ID equals three, arg1 is the chart series that was double clicked. It also just happens to be the pivot table data bodies column. We'll see why that's important in just a moment. When element ID equals three, arg2 is the point within the chart series. It's also the pivot table data bodies row. Cancel is something we can set to make sure the default action for a double click event doesn't happen. We'll ignore this. Now don't let the amount of code intimidate you. Most of this is just documentation. Some of it is error handling I copy into almost every routine I write. The only line of code we really need to mimic the pivot table drill down is this. Me.pivotlayout.pivottable. Dot data body range dot cells arg2 comma arg1 dot show detail equals true. This line of code starts with the reserved word me, which in this case refers to the chart object that we attach this code to. We could have also used active chart instead of me. Pivot layout represents the placement of fields in a pivot chart. It also contains a pointer to the pivot table object upon which this chart was built. Data body range represents the range of calculated values in the pivot table, including the totals. Cells arg2, arg1 is one particular cell in the pivot table's data body range that corresponds to the double clicked chart series point. The show detail equals true instructs the pivot table to reveal its detail. It's what makes the magic happen, just one line of code. The code that we haven't talked about is mostly housekeeping. The first line just makes sure the user double click the chart series. The next bit of code handles a common problem with the chart's double click event. Excel often interprets a double click on a single chart point as a double click on the entire series. For this reason, I don't put my drill down code in this event. I use the mouse up event, which we'll get to later. But for quick and dirty, you can just pop this one line of code in the chart's double click event handler and you have an instant drill down capability for any pivot chart table.